Hiya, welcome back. Look at this, how excited am I? This is a brand new Galaxy Kayaks Wildcat. I've had my eye on one of these for about three months now since they first appeared on the website. I'm a very lucky lad. I've been sent this one to review, so uh, let's not mess around. Let's get it unwrapped and have a look at it. Right, so that's the cardboard off. I'll tell you what, it's hot work today. Um, I'll just put the mess away and then we'll have a look and see what's underneath the bubble wrap. Right, so just the bubble wrap to come off now. This is the exciting bit. So uh, I thought I'd bring you a little bit closer in for that. Oh, hey, this looks brilliant, doesn't it? Right, let's get this off properly. We'll get it up on the uh, stand and I'll have a proper look at it there. Eh? Right, so let's start with a seat here. Um, got your paddles there, obviously, first, but uh, oh, they're different. They're quite a bit lighter than the normal Galaxy paddles I've had in the past. We'll put those to one side. We'll have a look at those in a minute. But uh, this seat mechanism looks really good. This looks interesting. Right, so this is already in place for you. That's the good news. So if we pop that on there and that in there, then I'm assuming you do. You lock it in like that. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Oh, I do like that. That feels nice and sturdy as well. And of course, there's a couple of different heights there. That's good. You can adjust the seat with these little sort of cam strap things at the side there as well. That's great, that. Tell you what, let's have a, a closer look at this mechanism. These just clip into here, but there are two different heights. Look at that. So you can have it lower down which is probably where I'll have it. And then you just slot them in and lock them off like that. And then tighten these screws at the front. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Oh, I do like that. That is a good system. Right. What we're going to have a look at next, I suppose, we should get the pedal drive out and stick that in. So next up, the flipper drive. So this arrived the day before yesterday for me. I'm going to close that seat just in case it's flaring a bit in the sun there. Um, so what have we got? So you've got your spare flippers there. Pop them in the back for now. Then we've got pedal number one. Have a look. Pedal number two. And then all that's left to get the drive itself out. Right, uh, bear with me. I'll do that down here. There we go. So uh, to all intents and purposes, it looks the same as the other flipper drive, the one I've got on my sturgeon. They're really, really easy to put together. You take out these two bolts on each side you pop the pedal in and then you fasten the bolts up. Right, so here you go. The pedals are super easy to do. Just face the sharp side of the blade towards you. I've already put the left pedal in. You just uh, slot this inside that little gap, press the little red handle in from the back and then it pops into one of those holes. They're numbered one to four, but that's just about comfort, like where you've got your seat, how long your legs are, that sort of thing. It's nothing to do with speed. So uh, next thing you do is just screw the bolts back in there. I'll just go and get a spanner and we'll do this properly. Right, so that's those tightened up. And now we'll just pop it into here. I'll tell you what, this looks a little bit different as well. So I'll give you a close up look at that. So you've got these two little handles here. When they're both facing forward, that means they're in place. I think you have to tighten this up a little bit as well with these. When they're both facing forward, you can slot that in. Make sure the two end bits go down the guides. And then you close that. Hey, and the jobs are good. And that looks good, doesn't it? Right, so let's have a little look at this rudder. So I've no idea how this is going to work because I don't have any experience with these ones. So there's a spring in there. I'm going to guess that's the way it goes. What is this piece of material for? I think that must be to... Pull the rudder down, up. That is just a protective piece of sleeve, and I'm going to assume this goes in there. 
and you'll find attached to the rudder right so I've worked this out so you see that little hole there you find attached to the rudder this little clip so the rudder goes in there and then you clip that in on the other side now what about these oh these are fairly self-explanatory as well I tell you what I'll bring you a little bit closer in and have a look at those Right, so attached to the end of these cables, and they're steel cables as well, which is great, are these two little pins with a tiny little bolt on the other end. I'm assuming that they go through there, and that you fasten that bolt on the other end. I've just dropped mine, but what I'm going to do is, I think I'll spray a little bit of uh, fixant on the end of here to make sure that these don't come off. I'm just hand tightening them on for now, but uh, I'll do it properly later on. Throw through the hole. And screw the little bolt on at the other end. Dead easy. So this is how you get the rudder down. Uh, this has to come out there. You pull. And then it gets wedged back in there. There you go. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? Right, so here's your paddle. Uh, it's quite a bit lighter than previous Galaxy paddles that I've had. I use a, a carbon fibre paddle myself, but then again, I'm very rarely paddling these days. I'm always pedalling or I've got the motor on the sturgeon. There's your little paddle keeper there. That just uh, hooks over that. Keeps that there nice and safe. And uh, right next, transducer compartment. It's just down this little hole here. So come on, let's have a look. So there you go. There is the transducer compartment. Um, Unlike the Sturgeon and the Supernova, there are no brass inserts inside of there to fit your transducer. So you're going to have to come up with uh, another way of doing it. I'm going to look into some uh, plastic pipe and see if I can make a sort of a scupper hole fitting for it that way. Right, so let's not forget what bag of uh, real blazer goodies that we've got in here as well. I do love a bag full of bits and bobs from real blazer. So what have we got? Got one, you've got two rod holders, that's good. And you've got two... Real Blazer star ports, fantastic. I shall stick those on in a little bit. Well, there you go, look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, before we have a proper close-up look at everything, don't forget that the channel has a discount code. It's OTD5 for 5% off absolutely everything at Galaxy Kayaks UK, including a Wildcat if you fancy one. That discount should run through 2023 and who knows, maybe even beyond. Uh, all that's left to do now really then is to get the camera on the gimbal and have a proper look. So you've got the hatch at the front here. Held on with those clasps. There you go. Not enough room to put a trolley in, obviously, but uh, you'll get your dinner in there and your battery for your fish finder. Down here, obviously, you've got the uh, pedal drive. Now, I am a fan of how this fits in. So much easier than the old one. In and out like that. Make sure you've got them both down at the front. Both levers back. Jobs are good. Now, what I really like is how the seat attaches. So I love this. I love that you can adjust the height by sitting it in slightly different positions so you can put that down there and you can put these ones oh, bear with us in there and then all you need to do is fasten them in fantastic so there you have it the uh, galaxy wildcat hey it looks impressive doesn't it let's get it out on the water then and see how it does. Hopefully the wind will drop off in the next few days and we'll be able to get out and catch a few fish. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you do like what you see on the channel, please do consider subscribing. And uh, don't forget, we've got that channel discount code at Galaxy Kayaks UK. It's OTD5 for 5% off everything, including a wild cat. I'll catch you next time.